the Burp extension JS Miner is yet another content discovery extension that aims at identifying surface area from JavaScript files. And as you can see, it's available in the Burp BAP store here, and I already have it installed. Unlike other extensions of this nature, it doesn't come with a custom menu. Instead, it adds a number of scan checks and it's going to populate its findings as issues against your target. So if I go to target sitemap here and I right click on my target and I click passively scan this host, it'll trigger the added passive checks from this extension. And as you can see here, it has populated uh, the issues tab with an issue because it has identified something worth looking into. Of course, as with all tools, there are false positives. So we wanna make sure that we investigate that. As you can see, it's identified something that it thinks might be an access key. And if we go and look at the response associated with this and go to the highlight, you can see that it actually is a false positive. It's not very interesting in this case. We don't have an actual key or token that we can use. Uh, one thing to note about JS Miner is that it also comes with some active checks. So if you right click on a target and you go to extensions, a JS Miner, you'll see that it has a number of options. We're not going to explore all of those. As with any extension, I encourage you to learn about it on your own. There are two distinct checks here that we can click on, however, that are a different in nature. One is run all passive scans and another one is run uh, everything, right? And so the everything actually includes some active checks beyond passive scanning. And they're not very intrusive, but it's worth being aware of. What these checks will do are send some requests to your target for every JavaScript file identified to see if there is a JavaScript source map file also available, right? So it will send some active traffic and that's something that you may want to do, right? So uh, make sure that you're aware of that and that you know that that is going to send some actual traffic to your target. If that is a concern, obviously don't run that. Um, and that is JS Miner.